Russian soldier. Many young guys I knew are dead in Ukraine. They weren't even 30. A Russian soldier who plans offensives as part of the invasion of Ukraine said he finds it difficult sending men into situations where he knows they will probably die. The soldier, Pavel, told the Moscow Times that I draw arrows on a map and the soldiers move forward. According to the report, Pavel's job is to manage anti-aircraft systems and plan offensives. This means he sometimes has to send men into an attack knowing they are unlikely to survive. I can't tell the men, otherwise they wouldn't fight with the hope of winning, he said. The Moscow Times said his eyes were glistening with emotion as he spoke about it. After all this, you don't sleep well, he said. According to the report, Russia is sending soldiers forward in these attacks in the hope of distracting Ukrainian forces with the aim of getting them to send soldiers away from its main offensives. Russia has previously been accused of treating its soldiers as highly disposable. This includes using meat wave tactics where Russia sends waves of men forward to try to overwhelm Ukrainian positions to then allow better trained or more elite soldiers to progress. Russia is believed to have suffered a much higher casualty rate than Ukraine in the war. The UK Ministry of Defence said late last month that 500,000 Russian soldiers had likely been killed or wounded since the full-scale invasion began in February 2022. It also said that Russia's average daily casualties were 1,200 in May, the highest numbers so far reported in the conflict. Pavel spoke to the Moscow Times on a train near Ukraine's border. Some soldiers on the train were going to the front lines, while others were on a short leave break. Pavel joined Russia's military as a volunteer, the Moscow Times reported, after hearing some of his family had been killed by Ukrainian soldiers at the start of the invasion. He previously worked as a senior specialist at one of Russia's largest companies, the report said, and had asked for his army salary to be given to an orphanage. I don't want to be paid to kill people he told the outlet. The Moscow Times reported that most soldiers on the train were drinking, including Pavel, and that a fight almost broke out between one of the soldiers and another passenger. Other soldiers on the train described brutal conditions with huge Russian losses. Many young guys I knew are dead. They weren't even 30. One soldier, Yegor, said. Another, who was on his way back to the front lines, showed a gunshot wound in his chest that was not properly healed yet. I probably won't make it this time he said. Russian army can use the aircraft assembled in Belarus in military operations in Ukraine. During visit by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko to the Irkutsk aviation plant, he has shown the assembly of fighter aircraft for the Belarusian Air Force. This was brought to the attention of the monitoring project Belarusian Gayun on Telegram. The sign near the fuselage indicates that we are talking about the Su-30 SM-2, one of the most powerful Russian fighters, which belongs to the 4 generation. It is an improved version of the Su-30 SM. The contract for the supply of the first Su-30 SM to Belarus was signed in 2017, and in November 2019, four such aircraft were transferred to the 61st Fighter Air Base in Baranovichi. In total, it was planned to receive a squadron of 12 fighters, but the second batch of Su-30SM was delayed. Belarusian officials have repeatedly announced the supply of new aircraft, but this has not happened. Let us note that previously there was no official information about the transfer of Su-30SM2 fighters to Minsk, taking into account the delay in the transfer of the second batch of Su-30SM, we can expect that the first Su-30SM2 will be delivered in 2025 to 2026. According to open sources, the Su-30SM2 was equipped with new AL-41F1S engines from the Su-35S fighter with thrust vector control. Su-30SM2 received an upgraded radar. Some of the avionics were unified with the avionics of the Su-35S aircraft. The range of weapons was also expanded. Deliveries of the Su-30SM2 will radically strengthen the combat capability of the Belarusian Air Force, the basis of whose fighter aircraft is now the obsolete Soviet MiG-29. But it is not excluded that these warplanes can be used against the Ukrainian army in the future. Thus, the Russian army can use the aircraft assembled in Belarus in military operations in Ukraine.